Shalom. I'm Ahuva Gamliel, and this is part six of Why We're Still Single, aka the Get a Clue Workshop. I purposely dropped off the four men because, as one of my friends pointed out to me, um, that women are just as likely of making a lot of the same mistakes as men are, so it wasn't fair for me to attribute all of these relationship um, faux pas and mistakes to men because it would sound like I'm man bashing or even worse, man hating, which is not the case. And it is true that um, women can be guilty of a lot of the same issues uh, that I have brought up until now. Uh, today, I do want to focus on an issue that is more prevalent with women than with men. So this is payback time for, <laughs> for the, the men out there uh, who know that women are doing some things wrong as well. So the story today is about a friend of mine from high school who was married for 10 years and she called me one day and shocked me and told me that she was getting divorced. And this, you have to understand, was like everyone thought they were the match made in heaven, they were the perfect or ideal couple, they were both Jewish, both had Israeli parents, um, approximately the same level of uh, observance. Uh, that both doctors, both have the same interests and hobbies, um, both speak Hebrew, yada, yada, yada. Like everything was like check, 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 right? So all of a sudden they're getting married, or getting divorced. And so I said, what happened, you know? So she said that he was immature. And I said, well, you knew that before you got married. And she said, yeah, but I thought that he would grow up. So this is a mistake that a lot of women make. They marry a man thinking that he's going to change. So whether it's becoming mature or losing weight or some other like personality flaw, um, whether it's that he's lazy or unmotivated or he doesn't make money, whatever the issue might be. Um, so the, the clue today, number five, is for women out there and it is do not marry potential. You have to marry the person who is right in front of you. Um, you can't marry who you want them to be or who you fantasize for them to be or become or how you envision them, uh, you know, optimizing or, or realizing rather their potential because they might never realize that potential. So you just have to love and accept them for who they are, the way that they are without demanding or expecting them to change. And in fact, the Beastie Boys, all three of which are Jewish, said it well in one of their songs. And here it is for you. Oh, YouTube failed me. Okay. Technical difficulties. Okay, I'll try iTunes next time. Basically, the um, lyric was, what you see is what you get, and you ain't seen nothing yet very profound lyrics by the Beastie Boys. So there you have it, tip number five, this one mostly the ladies are guilty of, and that is, um, you know, don't fantasize who the person is going to become, but rather love and accept them for who they are, because they might never become the person you want them to be. There you have it, folks, live and learn. Uh, I think that if it's, if it's a lesson, you know, they say if you lose, the game, don't lose the lesson, you know, I think that it's not in vain if there's something that can be learned from it. And so hopefully many of us will learn from it and we won't do the same thing. Until later, have a good night. Bye-bye.